Hello, Internet. Welcome to Cherry with Tekken, June 2015. So yeah, part one, I'm going to go over videos I'm working on right now. And part two, overview what's, what been up, uh, yeah, what's been uploaded to the channel. And then part three, just uh, anything else I want to touch on that I don't get around to in the first two parts. So videos I'm working on right now, a lot of Disney stuff. Batman's coming out. Yes, finally. Effing finally. So I was going to like, push all my Far Cry 4 videos out and then start on Batman. I'm, start, I'm trying to think if that's a good idea or not, because I don't really want to flood my channel with like Far Cry 4, like right before Batman. But it's like, that Far Cry 4 has been on the back burner forever, so I kind of want to just get it done and not, you know, have it like be uh, like a whole, like almost year after the game came out when I finally get it up and, or get it uploaded and then, um, you know. But it's like, it's like whatever, it's like, it's already, it's kind of like already like lost its time, so it's whatever, I think I'm just gonna wait, so I don't wanna like, you know, mess up the timing on my, just have all this Batman content come out, so, once it comes out, it's basically, play through like usual, streaming it, with, with share button, so I'll be recording it with my Elgato, I mean, Game Capture HD or whatever the new Elgato is called, um, and then challenge rooms, and then, if there's like a, I don't know, see, that like, those three things are for sure. And then, because of the season pass, I, it's like, whatever, I, I, I don't, I don't like it either, but I'm going to end up getting it just because it's like, whatever, I, I want more stuff. I'm going to wait until I see, like, what the first, like, content is, like, the first month, so, or, like, you know, just the, the first thing that's worth getting it before I pick it up, because I don't want to just be like, oh, here's my money, D Warner Brothers, huh, <laughs> so that's not happening. Um, but, like, yeah, the new stuff as it comes out, and then... I don't know if there's a mode in the game that is like, or that's going to be similar to the Arkham Origins, where it's like, you know, um, if you die, you have to restart, Dark Knight mode, because that was fun, and then, um, the, like, sub-challenges, so we'll see. And then I just realized something, I, <laughs> I was supposed to do, like, the, a bunch of the side quests in Arkham City and then do that, so... I got a, I got a bit of time. I, I th I'd like to think I could do that in like you know a couple a couple hours here before I go to work. So I guess we'll see what, see if I can do it. Mm, put me on the spot. But um, so yeah, because I was like I wanted to do that to like bridge the gap before before night came out. Do some Arkham City stuff. So if I can get it done, I'll get it done. I might just do it like with commentary, just because it's like, dude, whatever. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, Arkham Knight. Far Cry 4 is done, I want to get it out, but it's like, it's been done forever, but I'm not, I'm probably not going to do that, so whatever. So yeah, Destiny. I haven't played a ton of that game. This is a Destiny shirt, I don't know if you can tell, it's got the Traveler on it. That That is why this video is so late, it's just, I've been just like, into that game ever since House of Wolves came out, just, good stuff, like, I could gush about House of Wolves, but I've been doing it on the Aimless Podcast, so check that out, Aimless Battle Z, if you have not, there's a link to it in my About section, I believe, because... Ah, oh, it's, it's just, Bungie did a good job, basically, of, like, you know, the progression path of your character is, like, fixed now to where it's not, like, you have to only get the high-end gear from the raid, or only get the high-end gear from, uh, Iron Banner. It's, like, you know, you can get any piece of legendary gear and then ascend it to the max light level, so that's, 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 that's awesome. Like, both armor and weapons, so it's, like, you can take your old stuff send it to the new max and it's viable and then the same thing with armor so it's cool um so yeah there's that's really awesome and then um so yeah it basically just fixes a lot of things where it's like you know you had if you had old weapons and you're just saving them because it's like i really like this gun now you can you know put it at level of the current content it's like it's actually usable and not just a piece of crap gun that doesn't do the max damage uh level or d damage amount that says like 36 you can put 365 versus like 331 or versus whatever it was before that so yeah um so that's cool and then man trials of osiris i gotta say my new favorite game mode in that game just it is just so i don't know what it is i don't know what it is it, I, it, it, it's, it's like it's, it's many things it's a culmination of many things one of which is just me not playing PvP in forever, and it brought me back. And I'm like, man, just feeling the thrill of the hunt, and killing people, and just delicious. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like there's that, and then the way it's formatted, where it's like, you know, first to five wins, 
but then you have the overarching you know craziness of like trying to get flawless well you don't that's a whole other thing of like you know just if you can win nine either nine straight without losing or use boons to like you you win three and then you can win the six straight and you can use and can you lose one with a mercy and just you know <laughs> but it's like that is not easy because like you know it, it it's very cool just just because i feel like i'm consistently getting even more even better at pvp now because i'm playing it all the time so which is funny to me this just turned into like a destiny video whatever so ever since house of wolves came out i've been playing a ton of crucible so before i barely touched that crap i think i played iron banner once in like the not the current like not the, the last time it came out but the time before that that last rotation before then and then um just to get the class items and then I was doing it for the class items and there's like a I think the machine gun was what I wanted I right, there's like a weapon that I wanted because I was like mmm do I really want this and I was like eh they didn't give me armor because I was like yeah I don't have any of the armor so why was I doing that I must have been bored with the game I was like I guess I'll try Iron Banner I don't remember honestly because it had to be the machine gun the machine gun because I ended up getting the scout rifle and the shotgun as drops while I was playing it. Yeah, it was machine gun. Okay. Because I was like, why, why would I? Why, uh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. But like, after the first the first time, I was like, whatever. And then, I just, <laughs> and then the last time it came out, it was cool because, you know, you can see if you've been playing it since Destiny since the beginning, that the game is being like built and built and built. And it's finally to the point where it feels, I'm not going to say it's there yet, but it, it is very close to being... Like if you play weekly, it's it's there, but um, essentially there's there's stuff to do all the time now. So you have Prison of Elders, which is the arena mode, which is you know going through waves of enemies. I I think that's gonna like lose its appeal the fastest just because I'm kind of already done with it. Because if you get enough armor cores, you can just wait, you can just sit on them and then wait for the the uh, armor to be specked out to the stat you want. So that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm kind of done with it because going through through it over and over again just it was fun the first I think that I think the thing is, is like it was fun but I just played so much of it that it burnt burnt myself out so it's like yeah that does my own fault but whatever and then we killed skull lost that first week too so it's like that lost its appeal because I've already done it and then I got I've gotten all the elder, <laughs> elder cypher bounties and I've got all the new exotic weapons oh, I don't have them all yet but I need to like just you know kill a bunch of bosses and I'll get it so it's whatever um so it's like that kind of has no appeal to me anymore and then the weapon drops from that are kind of eh. I mean, that's and then that's like the one issue I think with House of Wolves is like you have all this PVE content that's dropping, but since there's no new raid, it's it's kind of like well, where would this be useful at? And I mean, yeah, you could say okay, well, in the Prison of Elders, it's going to be useful because you have different enemy types, but then all the stuff is like geared towards Fallen, and then there's no real big content right now that's fallen centric and then even um the taken king looks like it's going to be not necessarily hive but the uh what are they called the taken so that's that's all their can of worms because it's a new faction but it's not really a new faction they're just even more corrupted with darkness it's it's weird what they did if you look at it because it's like they didn't really introduce a new faction it's essentially all the old enemies that have been there since year one content and then they've been corrupted by the darkness Ugh. or whatever just it's like I would know these things if I read the group art, but I don't. Hopefully, that'll be in the game eventually because I haven't read any of them. It's like I would like to say, "Oh man, this game has an amazing story and the lore is blah blah blah," but not so much. Uh, what else? Actually, speaking of the Taken King, pumped for that game after E3. Oh, dude, dude, I should make this like a two-part video because we're at, we're, almost, we're almost at ten minutes, and I could like gush for like half an hour about E3 stuff, like just. Straight on, just be like, mmm, Mirror's Edge, mmm, Mass Effect Andromeda, mmm, Deus Ex, mmm, Star Fox Zero, just, ah, and like that Transformers game, Transformers flipping De Devastation, oh my, yeah, that, oh, yeah, it's like, I couldn't, I, like, in my brain, I did not conceive of something being better, or somehow someone coming along and doing an even better job than Fallout Cybertron, and then you see that, and it's cell shaded, and it looks exactly like the G1 cartoon, it's like, what? Are you effing serious? Like, not only did they get the look, Platinum Games, an amazing job, I might say, and then, like, if you look at the combat, it just look it's like over 9,000, so it's like, they took <laughs> the look of a Transformers game, and I look at it, and it's plain, and it's like, it looks like, 
you know, crazy anime, Japanese awesomeness. And it's like, oh, just, yes, when is this game out? Just, I cannot wait. That game is like, I will totally be putting up videos of that on my channel. So I need, I need to play some, go play some like Bayonetta and some Devil May Cry to get my <laughs> Japanese action game skills up. But uh, man, that was awesome. And then don't even get me started on the Sony conference. That was just like mind blowing. It's like, it's like, you know, last year they have Grim Fandigo. It's like, <gasps> a classic returns from the ether of never going to happen again. And then you have this year, FN, FF7 remake. I mean, there's no date and there's no gameplay. So it's like, that's like far off. That's like, I would say easily three to four years, if that. Like, maybe even more. Because Tetsuya Nomura, like, <sighs> Versus 13 got turned into 15. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 has been in development for how long? It's like... Actually, that's a funny story, because, like, you know, <laughs> it probably started off on PS3, but then you knew they were working on it, and then in, like, the trailer from E3, when they showed it at the Square conference, it says, in development. So it's like, was it not in development all this time, or what, 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 whatever, but yeah, that. So it's like, dude and his team take a while to make their stuff, just saying, like, it's a wait, like, have fun waiting three to four years for, well, that's a <laughs> See, so that's the thing, is like, you know, it's like, not like, the the Final Fantasy VII remake is at the bottom, and then you have Kingdom Hearts 3, and then you have 15, so it's like, it's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> it's not even, and like, who knows if there's anything else that they're working on that's like, you know, just, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's cool it exists, and like, you know, to have hope again after that PS3 tech demo of just like, oh, it's just a tech demo, and now it looks like, I mean, there wasn't any gameplay, so it's just like CG, but it's like Barrett and Cloud, ah, and Midgear, ah, just, yeah, like, Final Fantasy VII is, like, one of my favorite games of all time. Easily in my top ten. It's, like, I interchange it with, like, Chrono Trigger as far as, like, my favorite JRPG ever, but let's let's not get sidetracked here on E3 stuff, like I said. <laughs> but, like I said, man, like, that, and then Shinmu 3, and then flipping Last Guardian, which they opened with, and, like, by the time it was, like, our conference was done, I had forgotten about it, and I was like, man, what the, man, Sony's effing killing it, and then, uh, what happened after that? Oh, yeah, it's, like... How can they top this next year? It's like, how could they, like, I do not see how, like, unless it's just like, oh, here's Gabe Newell from Valve, Half-Life 3 confirmed, <laughs> like, not gonna happen, but it's like, dude, like, how could you conceivably top what they just did? It's, yeah, my brain is like, I don't know, dude, and I'm like, I don't know either, dude. I guess we'll find out. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Star Fox Zero, you know, that, <laughs> that's weird, because it's like Star Fox Zero and, and like, you know, New Zelda are cool and all, but, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for, like, you know, and, and, like, Nintendo themselves said, like, you know, we're gonna show, or not show, but, like, have more details about the NX next year, so, I guess we'll find out if it's a handheld, if it's a console, if it's a streaming service, what if, whatever the F it is, but I'm just gonna, like, sit on the bench on this one and, like, wait, because I don't want to get a Wii U just for two games and, like, spend that money and then, you know... <laughs> Cause there's nothing really coming out on the Wii U that I'm, that I'm super pumped for. I mean, there's stuff on there already, but it's not, there's not a big enough list A and B, like the stuff in the future, it's like, there's not a lot to look forward to, so. And then looking at the current gen stuff is like, like I just said, like Mirror's Edge, Deus Ex, FN, Mass Effect, FN Andromeda, like, that ain't gonna be on Wii U, so let's just sit, let's just do the smart thing and wait and be like, do they really ever need games before I waste my money on a Nintendo console for two games I'll play? <laughs> and then possibly it will never play it again and I'll just collect dust like my Xbox 360 does now. Just saying. Um let's see. Oh yeah, more cuphead. You know, I totally I totally like back in the day was like that game looks awesome. So I just like to, you know, say I was like totally on the fence on that game from the giga or on that game's team side, whatever, from from the get-go. Uh, <sighs> but yeah, all the in, like it's weird because like there's like all like the major focus at the conferences was like the big AAA stuff, and then like on the floor, if you watch like any like the live shows or whatever, there's like even more stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's like I can see why there's so many games that got announced or shown before E3 because it was just like, <sighs> like you know, you're not gonna escape the mushroom cloud of the megaton, and then uh, you know. <laughs> But then it's like, thinking about it, do I re remember any of those games besides Deus Ex that got, you know, shown before the 
E3, but I would have, like, you know, that was already, like, in my brain of, like, I want to see this game, so it's like, when I finally saw it. And, like, that, that let's see, was it 15 minute demo that's out right now? That looks really good. That's just, the textures are, like, even better, like, just, because in, in, like, Human Revolution, it was, like, you know, it's pretty good, but it's eh, not not nearly as good as, like, the new one. The new one is just, like, blows it out of the water, so it's, like, graphically just, ah, so it's, like, you know, good to know, current gen is, like, killing it on graphics like it should be. Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm kind of off topic here. I'm not even talking about videos I'm working on. <laughs> so that was like, you know, I guess that's my, my small E3, what I'm hyped about, you know, because I'm going to try to get off this and back on topic here. Super sorry about that. Um, videos I'm working on. Besides Batman, Destiny stuff. Oh, speaking of Destiny. Okay, so essentially what I've been doing is uploading my Trials of Osiris stuff. Osiris's Osiris stuff. So if I go flawless, I'll put that up. But if I don't go flawless, I'll just put up like a gold tier run for that week. So last week on what was it? The the moon map. I don't remember the name with all the doors. Oh, I only got gold. So right now I'm copying that to my USB drive. I'm gonna upload that like eventually because Batman comes out. So it ain't, it ain't happening anytime soon because Batman's gonna take priority once that comes out over everything. Um, what else? Uh, I want to get a vin uh, see it's messed up like the day that I came back to Destiny and we just raided the crap out of the game I wasn't I thought I don't think I was streaming or I was streaming and then my stream kept out actually I probably wasn't streaming and that would have been like the perfect like version of a stream because I had like basically hard mode of every raid <laughs> for all my characters and I could have just been like stream of hard mode all raids and just boom and like we always do legit strats and we don't cheese so it would have been the end all be all but I didn't get it and I just I was looking and like the last time I said this but I don't think I have a version of um either Vaulted Glass Hard or Crota Hard so I still need to put those up eventually but whatever uh oh okay and then I have a playlist for Crucible for like Crucible highlights and so on that one I essentially only put up like usually kill streaks or um what I'm doing now is or another thing I'm doing is um an iron banner when I get the tin kill straight because that's a hard one like whenever I get that I'm gonna put it on there so get that and any other weird stuff or funny stuff that happens in a PvP like <laughs> heavy am ambushes and multi kills those are fun uh doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm trying to think yeah I'm not I'm not bringing back the weekly or monthly or whatever Destiny video is doing that's that's still dead I'm gonna just keep it to like until the until there's a content update, D1, and then, you know, just go dark until the next one. But keep the playthrough series I have for it going, where it's like, it, the new stuff comes out, I play through it, the, the PvE single player, uh, slash three person fire team content, like that. Um, oh, I just realized there's a video I have, the, um, I think it's Voidburn on Skolos. We did that, I just haven't uploaded it yet, so that's gonna be up here soon. Maybe, I guess, after I, put, after I get these videos onto my thumb drive like you can't see my screen right now but essentially when you when you copy videos to your ps4 or from your ps4 through thumb drive it's on the screen that says copy to usb storage device and it's just stuck there until it's done you can't do anything you can't bring up the menu you can't message people you can't join parties and then mine's at like 28 minutes left so it's just going to be sitting here for 28 minutes doing this but whatever man it could be worse um okay and then let's see i was streaming my backlog but <laughs> let's see destiny's kind of completely wrecked that up messed that up because i'm just i'm loving trials right now and like trials takes place when i would have been streaming so i have no idea what i'm gonna do with that because i have all the trials gear but i don't know man it's like i don't need any of the lighthouse stuff and i don't need any of the gear but i just really like playing trials so i think what i'll do is like i might just stop playing trials until the like if it, if it ever like unless the Fate of All Fools is like a one-time exotic that they made for that one person that was like sick. I'm just going to wait for that to finally happen because that's like the only reason I would ever come back to Trials is to get that gun because you can only obtain it through uh, Trials of Osiris. According to like the, <laughs> according to the, um, what was it called? What's it called when you do that? I can't remember. There's data mining. Yeah, they data mine the stuff or whatever to find all the stuff, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's see, Destiny, Batman, Project Cars, Project Cars is on freeze, um, just because 
like I said, man, like Destiny is taking up all my time right now, so I don't know when I'm going to come back to that. In Grand Turismo 6, I will keep putting those out. I actually have a video of me getting that time to get the car that I couldn't get in that video I made before. So I'm going to put up the replay, and then, uh, yeah. Uh, what else? But yeah, I'm going to keep, like, as vision cards and whatnot come out for Grand Turismo 6, I'm going to keep, you know, putting videos up for that, because I love that game. Uh, hmm. I think that might be it, as far as videos I'm working on. Uh, and then what's been uploaded since last time? There's been a lot, because... Yeah, you can just go ahead and, like, stop watching now. <laughs> if you don't want to, like... <laughs> if you do want to, like, do the boring part here and I go over videos that have, like, been on my channel, that's basically all I'm going to do. Because I'm at, like, 20 minutes I just saw on the timer, but whatever. Oh, wait, one last thing. Um, my videos I'm working on. Okay, so... My comic book talks are late because of, uh... Destiny, like I said, so... There's new here Secret Wars I haven't read, Uncanny X-Men I haven't read, and Saga. So like those three, I might do them after I'm done with this video, put them up, maybe if I'm fast enough, and then maybe do this Arkham Knight, Arkham, Arkham City thing, we'll see. I should be able to do it in time, because it shouldn't take that long to read through a book and do a video, so I'll try to do that. And that's like, the, 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 yeah, the three on the top of the list because they're all new issues, and I haven't read them because I'm just behind because of Destiny, and I'd like to get it done this month because it's almost... Well, it's not almost next month, but, you know, it's the 22nd, so if I can just get them done and then not to worry about, like, being two issues back on all of them, that would be great. Actually, I'm not even sure what the release list of, uh, or schedule for Secret Wars is, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out if I end up being farther behind than I want to be. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to think now. Am I going over videos that were uploaded in June? Or May? May. Or since the last time I did China Tekken? Crap. Hold on, let me... Wow, I'm sorry, I'm completely not, uh, not ready to go here on this section. I guess I'll just keep talking. But yeah, Jedi, Jedi Academy, I haven't played any of that, so... While well, I did start... Oh wait, hold up, I see it. I see it, I see it! Go back. Ah! Okay, so stuff that's on the channel, or since... or, or it's been uploaded since the last time. Mercenary Kings, I finished that. It was great. I enjoyed it. It was fun times. I loved it. I completely forgot I was streaming Deus Ex Human Revolution. But yeah, I got I got stuck on that because in the Game of the Year edition, it puts you into that uh, the Missing Link DLC, and I'd never played it. So I kept getting caught, and I was like, ah, oh, this is ruining my... my, uh, my or not kept getting caught, but I just... I was playing very sloppily on the sh when I got there to the ship, and I was like, ugh, oh, this is, this is kind of terrible. Let me try, try to do better. Man, these these uh, Far Cry 4 videos are on here like a while ago. I could have just flipped the switch on that. Oh well. Um, what else? I'm guessing there's going to be a bunch of project cards and Destiny. Maybe some comic book talks. I'm not really sure though. My internet is being slow for some reason. Yeah, we've got some Far Cry 4. Jeez. Yeah, that's been uploaded since last month. I should have already put, pushed it out. I'll go ahead and put it up in, I guess, July, because I don't know if there's anything coming out in July, so... Sometime in July, Far Cry 4. <laughs> or, you know, before the end of summer. Let's see, so Project Cars. Um, I don't know if I talked about it on here, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm playing that game on stream in the single player, in, like as the seasons like progress. And then I'll just export it here because it's easier to do that than it is to like to capture all of it locally because it's probably going to take up a ton of space, and it's just more convenient to do it that way. I'm not sure if the quality of the videos is like all 720, but eh. And then comic book talks, I got uh yeah, Saga and Secret Wars on there, but like I said, I'm behind, so I need to get back in it. Okay, apparently there's a part 41 of Destiny on here. Let me see what that is. Cause I don't. Oh, okay, the dark. I'm sorry, the wolf. The House of Wolves content, so that's all. That's all on here now. I played through that, all the story stuff. So the story stuff that you get, which is like a couple story missions. I think it's about as many as um, you got in in Dark Below. So yeah, that was nice. You know, the first time when you're playing through and it's all new and it's like yay, new content for the first time in forever. So up to forty six on that Destiny. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, then I have some overview overview videos of House of Wolves, like the weapon reforge. And then in that video, it's funny because I, I, I reforged that weapon again to get like even better stuff on it. 
but then I ended up dismantling it because I got the Trials of, I'm sorry, the the Iron Banner Scout Rifle, and that's full auto, third eye. But I got two of them when uh, the vendor was selling them, so I kept one as like the stock version of third eye, full auto, and then the other one I'm going to try to reroll into like, just like a broken stat, of, or not broken perk, but like just super OP and like make it, you know, really awesome. Uh, but yeah, I really like the ref the reforging system as well, and it's cool because it's like you can do it on weapons, but not on armor. So like your armor, you're like stuck with whatever you get, but your, but your weapons, it's like oh yeah, I can I can work with this. But for me, it's like I found that I'm I'm yeah, it's like I will stick towards since I use exotic primaries and crucible, I will not really worry about a gun if it's like it seems like it's got cool stuff for crucible because it's like well. This is cool, but at the end of the day, not a, not as good at killing things as my thorn, so pass. And then it's weird because I'm kind of like just keeping all my old legendaries because it's like they get the job done. So I, if it depending on like how awesome it is, it's like if it's not as good as my current legendary, I don't need another one because I don't use an exotic primary, so I can have Galahorn on during PVE stuff. So <clears throat> that's that's my current build right now. I used to not do that, but then it's like. It, it, I think I got too reliant on it, so we'll see if I go back. Cause I, used have, I used to have exotic primaries on my characters b before uh, I started using got Yellowhorn all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know when my voice is fading here. Uh, but yeah, some overview videos on House of Wolves stuff. And then I opened up a bunch of uh, Cryptarch Vanguard and Crucible rewards that I'd saved up in my vault. Or not my vault, but my Postmaster. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, as well going into Taken King as I'm just going to sit on all my rewards until it drops and then open them um, open them once the new content comes out see if I get any, any cool stuff or exotics uh, then some Prisoner of Elders level 34 and 35 boss fight stuff and some shenanigans when you when you kill Skolas but the timer for the mines gets you but they've they've uh, changed that encounter. I haven't played it since then, but I hear it's different. And the first time I went to the lighthouse, which was a cool, I thought that was that's the other thing about Trials of Osiris. It's like that you have like this cool character moment that's outside of the PVE content that you get if you get to the lighthouse and like there's a cutscene that plays and it's just like the atmosphere and it just it looks cool. It just it just very well done by Bungie. I thought it was awesome. So that was awesome. Um, and I have some streams on here of doing Prison of Elders, but I'm not sure if they're set to unlisted or private right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them up. Because it's since the encounters have changed anyway, we'll, we'll see. Um, actually, I think I had it so I could download it and then clip out the, the part I needed. But yeah, I have Skolas on Solar Arc, but I need to put up the Void one. Oh, and there's... Okay, and then I guess another thing I'm putting up in the Crucible playlist is like the Trials of Osiris whenever I just do really good in a, in a match. Because on here I have like a 10-0 when um or like I got 10 kills and I didn't die so I got like a 10 kill streak which is pretty crazy so that was nice um and then skull loss stuff more lighthouse stuff okay and also I guess I'm also putting up videos of like whenever I get gold tier but I'm not like I said I'm not going to put up like the whole playthrough of like all my matches unless it's unless I only got gold that week so I'm going to like rename these because right now it's like Trials of Osiris Gold Rewards Week 1 or whatever. I'm going to like replace Week 1 with like the actual date and then that way it can be like by date and not like Week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because that's not how dates work. Uh, the Last Vision, Grand Makar, the Puget or however you say that. Some Iron Banner stuff. Actually funnily enough, the Iron Banner video that's not supposed to be a comeback video. That's supposed to be me getting a 10 kill streak in that video. But I saw, I was going through my list of share, share videos on here to try to get some uploaded or whatever. I don't remember what I was doing, but I was doing that. And then <laughs> that happened. So I have like the, the, the right video, but the wrong title. So I need to either re-upload it. I will probably just like edit out that part of me getting 10 kills and then like t rip it out. And cause it's still on my PS4 and then re-upload it as like a 10 kill streak. In tri or uh, in Iron Banner, but like I said, like any time I get like a kill streak in Iron Banner, that's like ten or more. I'm gonna upload it because that's really not easy. Uh, let's see. And then Trials of Osiris, the flawless runs are on here. 
as well as the rewards for those runs. And then some Star Fox 64, because I have a friend, I'm not going to name any names, they know who they are. And they're like, I've never played Star Fox 64. And I was like, what? You've never played it? Well, I'll just stream it and upload it, and you can enjoy the ride. And it's actually weird, i got to say, because I didn't do as good at the end of the game, because it's like I needed a 64 controller, and like the controls were just not the same. And like I would think with dual thumbsticks, it's like, oh yeah, this is I got this. Nope, because they map the C buttons to the right stick, and it and it feels a bit off. It's like that's there, and then the face buttons are the the stuff with like the trigger and the. Or was it no Z was the flip? It wasn't the, the shoot. So you had A B, but it was it was just weird the way it was mapped with like the C stick stuff. I'm sorry, the the C button stuff on the right stick. So that threw me way off. And then towards and then at, and also at the end, it was just me and <laughs> and Slippy. Like, Pebby was down, Falco was down, and then I got to the end where you have to face off with Star Wolf, and it was like, no. <laughs> like, I had not fought them yet with, with these controls, and then I could just couldn't adjust. I mean, I did end up beating them, but I had, like, what, two lives left or something? And then I had to fight Andros, and that was, that was not happening. So, yeah. That was no bueno. And, you know, I wiped, but if I do play it again and get back there... I will totally, uh, whatchamacallit, put up a, um, yeah, put up another stream of it, because it took, what, a hundred, uh, a bit over an hour and a half, so it's not even that long, which we all know, Star Fox is not a long game, so I'll see what I can do. But yeah, that's everything that's been uploaded to the channel since then, so yay. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. <laughs> my gushing over E3, my... Gushing over Destiny, still playing it, came back. All I, w I would like to, you know, apologize for all the bad things I've said about the games. It's like at at its current point, is I would say easily the best it's ever been. Like you have PVE stuff with first developers and the raids. You can do all that stuff all the time, and then you have the PVP stuff with trials, and which is I say at leagues above Iron Banner. That I think that's the other thing that makes it better than Iron Banner is that it's a three-person fire team, so it's three v three, so you're a smaller team. So it's like the matches are that much more intense because you can, you know, if someone's down, that's like one third of the team. And then it's like, holy crap, and it, just, it gets crazy from there. And then, you know, it's cool because there's like an, there's like a, uh, like Ouroboros effect of like, you know, for me, it's like, you know, I found that in the, in the raid armor, like it can roll like really good stats as like in like strength or discipline. So it's like, it makes me want to like go back through the raids every week to see if I get armor drops that I can then inc incorporate into my builds on my characters as long as it's not in a spot that's going to take up a exotic armor piece I'm wearing. So I, <laughs> I found a reason to like run raids. I mean, I didn't need a reason to run raids again because I still need a... what is that? It's like, I need a Necrochasm and then Zephyro, are like one of our dudes in the raid party, is like <laughs> needs a myth Mythoclast. <laughs> so it's like, until we get those, those exotics we need... actually I don't think everybody's a Necrochasm anyway, so... but yeah. Or crux, or whatever it's called. But uh, well, it turns the, the that whatever piece of crap gun into the necrochasm. But yeah, just until that happens, I'm not. I don't have all the exotics. Therefore, there's still stuff to do. So it's like, and then once they added, the, yeah, then once they added the House of Wolves ones, somehow I was able to get them very easily. So that's that's cool. But then the uh, <laughs> dark blue, yeah, just the drop rates on Kurita. But like, but yeah, man, with the, with the uh, the light level increase and the level increase, we've just been destroying Kurita lately, so that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so that's your first video. Like I said, Batman, yes, soon, yes, cannot wait to play some Batman. Ugh, I might just put up like a flipping challenge room play and just be like, dude, Batman, it's happening. Are you guys pumped? And just gush all over Batman, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, just Rocksteady's back. Their, you know, their final piece of their magnum opus. Mmm. Trilogy done. Let's see if it's awesome. Please be awesome. Cannot wait. Oh, and then I got it from a. Uh, I pre it from GameStop, so I'm gonna get the Red Hood stuff on top of the Harley Quinn stuff. So you know, once I've gotten the playthrough, unless unless it's like tied into the story when you're playing through it, once I'm done with that stuff, I can upload that stuff too. If you didn't pre it from there and don't have that bonus content in like a different region or something. So yeah, for all my international viewers out there, check that out. Um, so yeah, like I said, <laughs> a minute ago, even though I wasn't, I haven't wrapped up the video yet, that's it for this video, so you know, try to make sure I don't forget anything, but yeah, that's, that's it. 
Uh, check out Endless Podcasts as well, Endless Babble Z. That's a podcast I do every week where I'm gushing about stuff like this all the time. If you're interested, interested. Um, so, you know, feel free, free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends or not. That's cool. And until you see or hear from me again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm now signing off.